Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for my August favorites. Let's turn on the lights on, cause we need to see the crowd going crazy. My I have been really enjoying a face product this month, and it's from L'Oreal. It's their Nude Magic BB Cream. And I think this one is really good. If you have a good skin day, you're just fine with putting a bit of this on and you're good to go. I can't wear it right now unfortunately because I got like a blemish situation going on in my face and I hate it. But until all of those horrible sits have healed up, um, I can't use the BB cream because let's face it, it's just not enough coverage. Um, but I guess soon I'll be popping this one on again and I am really very much looking forward to that because it's really good. Next up are two eye products that I have been really liking throughout the month and they are the Maybelline um, Color Show eyeshadows and I got one in Copper Fits and the other one in Sultry Sand. They're really well pigmented and they just give you so much color and if you're using an eyeshadow primer they last a really long time on your eyelids. What I really like about these eyeshadows are that they are very versatile so you can wear them throughout the day but you can also build them up. Um, for a nighttime look. Very good quality for I think it was six euros which means like eight pounds or four dollars which is amazing. So those were a real bargain and I probably need to get more colors. I mean though I think the color range is a bit restricted because at the drugstore that I shopped that they just had four colors like those two neutral ones and then a green one and I think a really, really purple one. So I have to have a look. Um, we shall see. But it would be really cool if Maybelline could come out with more colors. Just say. Another favorite of mine is also from Maybelline and it's their Color Drama Intensive Velvet Lip Pencil. And I think this one is really good. It's such a good quality for the price you have to pay. It is again for €6.50 I think, um, so it's an amazing price. I think the quality is just amazing, it goes on really smooth. It uh, is a matte lipstick but it's still, it doesn't completely dry matte. On one hand it's matte, on the other side it's just slightly moisturizing. I don't know, I just know that this is a really really good product and they have a great color range. Oh, and by the way mine is in 410 Fab Orange, which I think is a great dupe for a NARS one. I know that there's a NARS one and I just can't remember the name and it looks exactly like this. I would say it's a dupe for it, which is great because we're always on the lookout for dupes, aren't we? Again, another lip product because as you know, I can't walk past a lipstick stand without picking one up. It's a serious problem. Truth be told, I'm not really working on it, but this is one of the most beautiful things my eyes have ever looked at. I think the YSL lipsticks are just to die for. They had sale in Sephora. You know, it got sale in Sephora. I needed to repeat this because hallelujah. Even though it was sale, I had a bit of a restricted budget so I could only get one thing and the thing that I got was this lipstick from YSL and it was reduced from 27 euros to 20 euros which amazing again and um, as I really like pinky berry tone colors I picked up their rouge will update um, lipstick in the number 11. I know it had a name on the packaging. I'm super sure about that and I don't know why they don't put it at the back of their lipstick as well. But they just don't. It's number 11. You'll find it if you want to. I'll put a link down below. And I just think this is the most gorgeous color ever. I always wanted to get the Estee Lauder Tomatious Pink lipstick. And I just think that the Number 11 from the Rouge Volapte range is just really, really, really similar to it. I think if you swatch them next to each other, they're like almost identical. I like it. It's super moisturizing and if you let it sit on your lip for a while, it 
dries a bit and it won't smudge anymore and um, yeah just I mean you can't really say anything bad about YSL lipsticks come on they're just really really good don't know anybody who doesn't like them if you don't like them sorry but I just love them and I particularly love this color next we have a really cool nail polish that I enjoyed very much having on my fingers throughout the past month and it is Essie's Bikini Sotini and it's a really cool blue color I like it so so much when I picked that up in the drugstore I was with a friend and she commented on it by saying oh that's like a lilac color this is not a lilac color. Do you do you feel like this is a lilac color? I don't know. For me, this is just a really cool light bluish color. It's blue. It is blue. It was blue on my fingers. I don't have it on right now. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this and I wore it so much throughout the month. If you know if it started chipping. I reapplied it again because I just couldn't get enough of this color. And I think I'm putting it on again after that one. Now we have a product that was a complete lifesaver. It immediately made it in my holy grail product and that means something. Without further ado, here's the special product. Ta -da! It is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. It is so 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 good. You just put a bit of it like as a top coat over your nail polish and your nails are instantly dry. It may take you like 10 seconds and you're good to go which is great. For me it's the best top coat that I've ever used because it's just so good, really quick at drying your nails. Perfect. Another new product that I tested in August was the Herbal Essences Clearly Naked 0% Silicon Paraben and uh, Fragrances, which looks a bit like this. And I used to use the Herbal Essences shampoos and conditioners like for such a long time, but then I started using paraben-free and sulfate-free shampoos and conditioners and suddenly I couldn't use them anymore. So I'm really glad that they came out with the sulfate free range and it just smells so, so good. This one is with white tea and mint. I've been testing this product. My hair feels really good after using it. I think it just gives you like this squeaky clean feeling after you use this shampoo. Great smell, great product. That's why it made it in my favorites because I have been really, really liking using this. Yes, I needed this. So let's continue, shall we? Next, we are moving on to favorite TV show, and that has to be Finding Carter. One of my favorite bands, Mr. Wives, is doing the theme song for this TV show, and they tweeted about it, so I watched the TV show. And I just fell in love with it. I just think it's a really good show. They show it on MTV. You can watch it online as well. So let me explain you the plot line. Um, it's about a girl whose name is Carter and um, she just turned 16 and she was arrested. Well, she and her friends, they broke into one of those carousels at a fair and the police just you know, arrest them, nothing like too serious. But anyways, the parents had to pick them up. But all of the kids' parents picked them up, except for Carter's mom. And before you just could really see that she has a really good relationship with her mom, her mom's not old and she's really cool and blah, blah. So she, her mom's not coming. And suddenly, like the police keeps her in and they do a match on her DNA and they find out that she was actually kidnapped as a kid. And now she's put, back into her family that she hasn't been with since she was three or four and got adopted from her mom that is actually not her mom but her kidnapper and turns out she's already 17 and she has a twin sister and a brother and a mom and a dad and grandparents that all love her and she's just really overwhelmed with the whole situation and then there are like boy problems drug problems like really I think I just think that it's a really cool show and all the characters are so like compassionate and I just really enjoy watching the show. If you are 
looking for a new TV show, I would definitely recommend Finding Carter. Finding Carter. I do have a favorite YouTube channel this month, and it's Beyond Beauty Star TV. It's the vlog channel of Claudia Zulewski. Her vlog channel is just really entertaining, and I've watched Vlogmas on there, really enjoyed it. I know that Tanya Burr recommended her and I checked out her vlogs and I really liked it and so I've been watching her videos off and on and in the previous couple of months I've just watched every video of her and I've watched every vlog because she's been moving from like Chicago area to LA which was really exciting and I loved her moving vlog which was super entertaining and I'm moving as well next week so it was really great to get a bit of a like look uh, well, how you can design your room and what you can do and what you have to think of when moving and I just really like her I think she's a really entertaining person and has a great YouTube channel like beauty channel as well as a great vlog channel so if you haven't checked out her videos yet go ahead over there she's doing such an amazing work at editing her videos really good I really admire that um, anyways check out her videos I'll leave a link down below really great have a look. I do have a music favorite this month and it's a band called Drowners and I have been really enjoying listening to their same named EP called Drowners and my favorite songs are Love Hold Me Down and A Button On Your Blouse. Those two songs are really good. The whole album is amazing. I think they incorporate a bit of like the whole indie rock music that was going on back in 2005, 6 and 7 ish, kind of. Their music just remembers me of all the bands that I love to listen to like 8 years ago. I think it just got a bit of like Brit pop back which is amazing. I love those times so I can't complain about it. I discovered the band because I follow um, Alexa Jung on Instagram and she just kept posting those pictures of this cute guy and I found out it's like he's in this band so I listened to the band like what that's the things you do when you're on Instagram and you're bored and the band is just really amazing I downloaded the whole album go check it out as well I'll leave a Spotify link down below for you to have a listen alright so guys this is it for my monthly favorites video I enjoy making these videos so much I think they are one of those videos that are just about talking and talking to you and showing you products and discussing everything so for me perfect great I like talking I don't mind that I hope you guys enjoy this as well let me know in the comments bar below if you do enjoy my videos and if you want to know anything else ask me I'm open for questions I do want to discuss stuff with you that's like one of the most fun parts anyways okay so let's wrap this thing up shall we hopefully you like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a weekly video of me talking about stuff Anyways, I hope you have a great start into September. Oh, and speaking of December, I did a back to school video and I'll leave a link down below because I think it's a really cool video and if you need any inspirations for going back to school, like styling wise, check it out. I'll put a link down into the down bar, right? Thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see each other next week. Bye!